Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down multiple large storms that'll be impacting the United States over the next couple of weeks and these will bring tons of problems including the potential for multiple winter storms, heavy rainfall that could lead to flash flooding, severe weather and a lot more. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the southern plains and this is actually where one of the multiple storms is going to originate over the next several days and we actually have a low pressure system that's moving into texas as we speak this will be bringing some showers and a few storms to areas in oklahoma and texas over the next 24 hours maybe a couple of snow flurries in the back side of this but really nothing too concerning overall this will continue to move to the east though over the next 24 to 48 hours toward the southeast and it will bring some rainfall it'll bring a small cool down behind it as well but this is is really not one of the multiple large storms that we're talking about because we're gonna have two more that are gonna be coming out of the pacific ocean over the next several days and these are gonna be the ones to watch for that are gonna bring the potential for winter storms severe weather heavy rainfall etc the list goes on and on there's gonna be a lot of problems with those storms as they continue to move to the east and we'll be breaking those down for you here in just a second back over on the east coast it's pretty dry for now that'll stay that way for the next 24 hours before the system moves into areas along the southeast and east coast and then also there's a low pressure system offshore just east of North Carolina but overall it's not going to be impacting the United States any further than it already has over the last few days. All right let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next several days and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream and the jet stream gives us an idea of those weather patterns that are impacting the United States. Beginning with today again we have our low pressure system actually this isn't tonight. A low pressure system will be centered back down to Oklahoma and North Texas. This will be moving off to the east as we go into the next couple of days We'll be watching for that to impact the East Coast as we go into Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then our first large storm will start to brew across the Southern Plains as we go into Thursday. And this is going to start really back down in the Southern Plains. That's where it's going to start to really develop and strengthen. And as it strengthens on Thursday, it's going to move to the East and East Northeast. And we we'll are have to be watching this pretty closely. Although I don't think we're going to see much severe weather out of this, there will be at least a low threat maybe for an isolated severe storm or two across the Mississippi Valley but what will be more concerning with this system is as it moves off to the east and northeast we will need to watch for the threat of some snow potentially a winter storm in the northeast that'll be something to watch for going closer to the weekend so around Saturday be mindful if you're in the northeast there is a chance for heavy snowfall we might even see a foot of snow in some areas and I'll be showing you those areas that could see that here in just a moment and then once we go into Sunday into Monday that is our next large storm in the European model which is a very accurate computer model model has been indicating a very large and intense storm as we go into next week. I do want to point out there is some uncertainty with this still, but it does look likely we'll be looking at a large storm as we go into early next week. Where it goes, all that sort of stuff is still be to be determined, but you'll notice again the jet stream very strong around this low pressure system, a very deepened trough that the European model is showing, positively tilted, which gives you an idea of the representation and the orientation of this trough in particular. So that's what we're going to have to watch for basically as we go into early next week. Now let's put this all into one big picture with the future radar give you an idea of what's actually gonna be happening who's gonna be seeing rainfall where will there be severe weather all that sort of stuff we're gonna break it down for you in depth and let's first begin with what's happening over the next couple of days notice there will be some showers and storms right along the gulf coast tomorrow this again will not be very impactful we might see a couple of snow flurries maybe in northern georgia or alabama but it's a very low chance overall i wouldn't really get your hopes up on it with this particular system as we go into wednesday night by the time we go into thursday things dry out small clipper system will go through the great lakes region but really again nothing much it's very light snow overall a much better chance of snow will come with the first large storm of 2024 and this one's going to start on friday so again notice down in the southern plain showers and storms a little bit of snowfall might leak into oklahoma maybe the texas panhandle back into kansas which again is very typical for january i don't expect anything too crazy here but maybe a few inches of snow might come out of that notice there'll be showers and storms right along the gulf coast going into Friday afternoon we might get a little bit of severe weather here along the Gulf Coast there are going to be some, some ingredients in place that could support a few severe storms there right along the Gulf Coast from Louisiana back into Florida but what's going to be a bit more concerning is what evolves going into Saturday and right now the European model is indicating that this is going to evolve into a bit of a stronger storm and it's actually going to bring the potential for some nor'easter type of components to the system so notice what it looks like on Saturday around five o'clock or so in the afternoon this is what we're going to be looking at is the potential 
for some snowfall on the back side of this. And this is something that we've really not seen anything of this winter thus far. But we'll have to be watching for some moderate to heavy snowfall to move across areas like West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and even the entire region of New England could be up for grabs with some heavy snow as we go into Saturday night into Sunday morning. We might even see that leak into Connecticut, perhaps even Rhode Island and the Cape Cod area of Massachusetts all up for grabs with this. But the big question right now is where will this system track? The further north it tracks, the lesser chance of any snow falling in New England. The further south it goes, the better chance that areas in New England will see snowfall. So that's a big question right now. That's really the biggest uncertainty point at this point with this particular storm. But what's for certain at this point is that there's going to be some heavy snow somewhere. Where will that happen is really going to be the question mark as of right now. And I'll show you what I think here in just a second on that. Once we go into Monday and Tuesday, this is where things get really interesting overall because from a meteorology perspective, I mean, we're talking again seven days out from now with this particular storm that the European model is showing. But one key thing is that the computer models have been very, very, very consistent with this particular storm. The one thing that has not been consistent is exactly where the snow will fall with this system. And obviously seven days out, it's hard to predict snow events like this in really specific detail. But notice how large this storm system could be as we go into the second week of January. Again, tons of showers and storms on the south side of this. We already have a slight risk of severe weather along the Gulf Coast for going into uh, the day seven outlook. So right around Monday to Tuesday, that'll be the time frame to watch for for some severe weather across the Gulf Coast. And then also going to Tuesday night to Wednesday, we'll have to watch for the backside of this very intense trough to bring some snowfall. Now, the European model has been changing the actual location of where this would be falling, which is very typical, by the way, again, being seven days out, things change a lot. Uh, initially, the snow was going to fall back over the Midwest, and now it's showing back closer to like the Ohio Valley. So a bit of a shift there. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and we will keep you posted with the latest on this storm because a lot of things are going to be changing over the next few days. But what is pretty much almost certain, it's very likely at least, that we're going to probably see a pretty large storm as we go into the middle of the month. And as we go closer to the 11th and 12th, again, a little bit of snow might be possible across the Great Plains and perhaps back over in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley out of a couple more of those little clipper systems. By the way, this is the European model for the snowfall totals it's estimating for right now in terms of that next event as we go into this weekend. And notice the heaviest of the snowfall would be across areas like Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, New York. We would even see some in New England with a southerly track, but keep in mind this is contingent on there being a southerly track with this storm. The second it changes direction, it goes up here to the north and east, you can basically cross out almost all of eastern New England with that sort of track. So just keep that in mind. Again, things will definitely be changing over the next few days with this system. And this is, again, the slight risk of severe weather. This is going to be for Monday. And again, notice that slight risk stretching from Texas and the Houston area back into the Florida panhandle for right now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.